Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, today we're talking about inpatient coding. Now, if you haven't viewed my three previous videos, I did one on physician office coding, one on emergency room coding, and one on same day surgery coding. Be sure and go back and view those videos. But again, today we're talking about inpatient coding. Now first, again, as I told you on the three previous videos, you have to think about what setting you're coding in to know which classification system to code with. For inpatient coding, we use ICD-10-CM for the diagnoses and ICD-10-PCS for the procedures. We start with what's called a present on admission POA indicator on inpatient coding. And what that POA indicator is, these are, this is an indicator that identifies those conditions that are present on admission. So we start off with identifying those. Then we go into our admitting diagnoses or our admission diagnoses. And that's just the condition I consider the symptom that the patient is coming in for. Okay. Then after that, you have your principal diagnoses. And your principal diagnoses is that which, after study, was found to have occasioned the patient into the hospital. So with admission, I might have lower right abdominal pain. That might be my admission diagnoses. But after study, it was found that I had an acute appendicitis. So appendicitis becomes my principal diagnoses. Now, any secondary diagnoses are those comorbidities or those complications, those other diagnoses that my attending physician also documents. These are conditions that, that the facility has to render resources for. Therefore, shouldn't they get paid for them? If you're a diabetic and the physician has to order daily um, blood sugar checks on you, insulin, or your oral medication that you have to take for your diabetes because care is rendered to take care of that in addition to whatever principal diagnoses you're coming in for, those diagnoses need to be captured because those conditions were also cared for while you were in house. You also have a principal procedure. Now, for example, where I use that my principal diagnoses after study, remember I came in with lower right abdominal pain, after studying my principal diagnosis was acute appendicitis. Well, my principal pr procedure may be an appendectomy. That's the procedure that's done to cure or take care of my principal diagnoses. Any secondary procedures or any additional procedures that are performed f to, for therapeutic reasons or for diagnostic purposes. So if any more procedures are done, to take care of any other conditions that I might have, those conditions are also captured. Now, in trying to find all of this information to code, there are various forms throughout the chart. Just to name a few, you have your history and physical, which is done on admission, your discharge summary, which is done at discharge, again, the history and physical and discharge summary, and op report, that's a summary of any surgeries performed. Those are three major reports that are done in a medical record by or completed by a physician, a licensed MD. You have daily progress notes while in acute care. You have doctor's orders, um, lab data that you can refer to to verify diagnoses, radiology reports, electrocardiogram, graphic notes, main um, urine output, um, different types of uh, data that's gathered on the graphs. Medication administration record, MAR. It lists what kind of medicines the patient's on the whole time they're in-house. And that has been a big help for me when I was coding. If I was trying to find diagnoses or trying to verify diagnoses, I could look on the MAR and see what medications the patient was taking or the physician ordered for the patient. That helped me pick up. Are they on insulin for their diabetes? Or is it just an oral um, medication that they're taking? IV record helps with um, locating diagnoses. Nursing notes, even though those aren't completed by a physician, a lot of times they bring a little more clarity to what's going on. Any other forms in your medical record that give clarity for diagnoses that you're trying to code. So again, this is inpatient coding. I know healthcare now is going more outpatient, and at one time, inpatient was 
the heaviest, the hardest coating. And, and to be honest with you, I think today, I think it still is, although surgeries can be difficult with that ICD-10 PCS coating. But inpatient coating, you're coating what is going on during a patient's stay while in-house, which is in the hospital. Okay, guys? All right, thanks. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe and take this journey with us as we further discuss medical coding. Thanks, guys.